All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at the derivatives of inverse trig functions. This topic is a little confusing for some people because they just can't remember the formulas. So in this video, I'm going to be trying to help you memorize the formulas in a way where you can try to think about them and um, connect them and, and build patterns so you can remember them a little easier. So let's look at uh, the derivative of inverse sine. So sine inverse, instead of x, I'm just going to write u. Okay, so this is typically what's written because um, x is, well, it's just x, but u can be something like x squared plus 2x plus 1. It can be something like that. So let's just write u. Okay. And then this is going to be equal to, um, we, we actually have a formula for this. So u prime. Remember always that in all the formulas for cosine, tangent, cotangent, whatever you have, you're always going to have u prime on the top, okay? And then on the bottom here, you will just have the square root of 1 minus u squared, okay? So this is the formula. Now for cosine, for cosine inverse of u, you're just going to have u prime, of course. But, and let's just rewrite all of this, right? It's the same thing as sine, except you will add a negative in front. And remember, the c's will have negatives. It, this applies for the derivatives of um, uh, inverse and the derivatives of normal uh, regular uh, trig functions. So then, then let's look at the derivative of, um, let's do next, let's do tangent. So let's do tangent inverse of u. Okay, so tangent inverse is actually quite easier because this is just going to be u prime all over 1 plus u squared. This is just an easier easier version, but when you look at cotangent, it's a little bit, um, well, it's the same thing, but it's connected. So let's look at this. So cotangent inverse u, this is actually just going to be the same exact thing as before, 1 plus u squared, but we'll have a negative up in front. That's the only difference. Again, we have a C, so we have a negative. Then let's look at the, the last two. These are probably the hardest. The derivative of, let's start with secant of x. Secant inverse of x, of u, sorry, not x. This is just going to be equal to, again, u prime on top, all over. In this case, we have the absolute value of u. Just remember this absolute value. And then the square root of u squared minus 1. Okay, and then we have the derivative of um, we have the derivative of cosecant inverse of u and this is just going to be equal to again u prime all over the same exact stuff as before um, u squared minus 1 but then we have a negative because there's a c. Okay, so now let's let's think about the patterns. This one and this one are are related. This one and this one are related. And this one and this one are related. Now for this one, what I like to think about is that this one we just have a u prime. For all of them, you have a u prime on top. And then on the bottom is what is going to be wearing. For this one, just look at this. Just remember that it's going to be square root, and then the one's going to be in fir uh, first, and then minus u squared. And that will cover up this one as well. Now, for this one, however, you have the square root, and then u squared and 1, but you have u squared minus 1 instead of 1 minus u squared. So the u squared is in front, um, is first. So think about this one as having the 1 in front, and then the u squared in front for this one. But then for this one, don't forget to add the absolute value. And this is the only, these are the two are the only ones that have the absolute value. So it's quite easy to remember that. And so with that, uh, you can get these. And then for these two, just remember that you won't have a square root. And these are the easy ones to just add, so you don't need to worry about the order. Some people can write this one as also equaling u prime over 1, uh, sorry, u squared plus 1, and that's the same thing. So you don't have to worry about the order for this one, but only for these you have to worry about the order because they're subtracting. Okay, so hopefully this is a little bit uh, helpful to try to remember 
um, just remembering these two and, uh, well, just remembering three of these really is going to help. Um, and then the C's, right? Always remember the C's. This is very important. Not the, not the T, the C's. Always remember the C's. That's also very important. Can help you. Um, and you should be good with this. So I hope you found this video helpful.